Join our hosts as they step aboard the Grady White Freedom 235, an elegantly styled dual console with amenities and features for the family and the fisherman. The Grady White Freedom 235 has an overall length of 23 feet 7 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 300. Built to accommodate multiple guests in style, she has a draft of 20 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a dry weight of 4,050 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 115 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, today we're on the Grady White Freedom 235, and I found out something interesting. This is one of their top selling models, and I can't wait to find out why. Let me tell you, I automatically fall in love every time I see we're doing a 23-foot boat. That is still such a sweet spot for families, for people with kids that they want to take fishing. I didn't even have to step on this boat to tell. This boat is designed around the family that's going fishing, but it's all family first, and I like the way it looks. Typically, when we dive into a breakdown of any dual console model, the first thing that comes to mind are creature comforts and family features. And for the record, the Freedom 235 from Grady White is long on both counts in this department. Two features that can't be overlooked, however, with this model are performance and style. For a dual console, right off the starting line, you're dealing with a deck layout that packs a lot of options into every inch of space. To that end, the style and dock appeal sometimes get swallowed up by an overwhelming number of extra parts. That certainly isn't the case with the Freedom 235. The designers in this instance clearly paid attention to making this model look sporty while retaining all of her practical family appeal. The rub here is to add a full width hardtop that first doesn't look like a box sitting on top of the gunnels and second doesn't add any negative wind effect to the handling characteristics of the boat when you're running. The top on the 235 scores high marks in this department. I was really excited to spend the day on this Grady White Freedom 235 dual console for a couple reasons. You have a nice wide walkthrough going up to the bow with seating on your port side with dry storage underneath. You also have seating on your starboard side with a 98 quart insulated box underneath. I actually threw an ice pack in there today and threw our lunch in there. It was great because it really freed up extra room in the cooler for more drinks. Portside console is an overhead compartment with expanded storage. There was a divider behind the head that all you had to do was just push it and now you have a pass through underneath the port side seating. Perfect for stowing rods. In the starboard console, when you open the door, you have a tackle stray storage built into the door. And the inside of the console is all open space, perfect for whatever you need. Beach bags, tackle bags, safety gear, whatever. The port side seat behind the console was my absolute favorite. The headrest was on a sliding track that was extremely user friendly. Just pull out the handle and you can slide it all the way forward and then tilt the headrest, making it into a lounge seat. In the transom, we had a fold away aft bench seat, which is great for fishing to open up the transom for more room. I was in awe with the size of the boarding platforms on the port and starboard side. And the best part was the storage compartments on both sides that were built into the platform. I thought, what a great idea. Walk up the ladder, drop your dive gear into the compartment, and it's out of the way. And then you know where it's at next time you want to get back in the water. From a handling standpoint, the Freedom 235 offers the soft dry ride associated with Grady's award-winning CV2 hull design. Most notably is the downward angled strakes on the bottom and how well they deflect spray back to the ocean surface and away from the wind. Along with a solid hull design comes efficiency and the Freedom 235 puts up pretty impressive numbers in this department too. Paired with a single 300 horsepower, she offers up three miles per gallon at 26 miles an hour cruising with a greater than 300 mile range. Wind it up to 40 miles an hour and you'll still realize two miles to the gallon efficiency. All right, guys, this morning I had mentioned that this boat right here is one of the top selling boats for Grady White, and I figured out why. This is every mother's dream. I mean, the comfort features today have been impeccable. The storage is incredible, and the layout, I mean, you can't go wrong. 
people tend to look at a dual console boat as like you pointed out, like the minivan of boats, okay? But we also agreed that this boat is nothing like a minivan. It's got all the conveniences that a minivan might have for a mom and a family, but it's in a much racier package and it's really got a lot of fishability and a lot of sexy look too. I mean, it does not look like a clunky family boat. It's very racy looking. And if you haven't really spent any time on a dual console design boat, you're really shortchanging yourself. I mean, these boats offer a lot. This boat is modern. It is for the family feature. It is a home run when it comes to family fishermen.